So if you never played as a Netrunner type of character in Cyberpunk up until now, I definitely recommend you go ahead and try this build right now because it is by far one of the most interesting ways of playing the game, by far one of the most unique ways of approaching combat and even more so, I will even dare say that it is currently one of the top builds in the game when it comes to taking down really large groups of enemies really fast and really easy, possibly way easier than any gun right now in the game. So let's talk a bit about the Netrunner or the Plague Master or the Witch Doctor of this world right here because that is essentially what you are. You're gonna be able to spread your quick hacks to multiple enemies at the same time, control the battlefield however you want to control it, you're gonna be able to infect a number of enemies for example to take dot damage, you're gonna be able to make enemies turn against one another, maybe even have their weapons glitch out or maybe explode in their hands, maybe even cause the enemies themselves to explode or even commit suicide. These are just a few of the possibilities that you can achieve with with the Netrunner, something that no other build in the game can currently do. So if this is what you're looking for, a really unique kind of playstyle for Cyberpunk 2077, then this is going to be the best thing for you. So let me go a bit over what this build actually does before going in into the skill trees and like once it yeah makes sense why I'm saying all of these things. So first of all our main goal right here is as I've said to spread our quick hacks and viruses to as many enemies as possible in the shortest amount of time. For that we are kind of mostly going to use two main abilities. One of them is going to be the ping, a really simple one that you get quite early on in the game that simply reveals everybody in a network. So if you go inside a facility, in a mission, no matter where you go, one single ping on one single access point is going to reveal everybody in that network for at least 20 plus seconds. From that point on what we will do is spread a virus within the entire network and the best one for that is going to be the contagion quick hack that does exactly that. It kind of acts like a sickness, a virus that transmits from one target to another but in this case it transmits to multiple at the same time and then those targets will additionally spread it to other targets within proximity. So this is just for the first two of them by the way, there's many more in there. As I've said, weapon glitches, system resets, detonate grenades, short circuit, commit suicide, these are just a handful of the possibilities that exist with this build. So before going over that with a quick axe, let's go over the actual character skill tree and like well no surprise we're gonna invest a ton of points into intelligence. Now keep in mind that even though this might look daunting, it's only the intelligence skill tree that you really need to make this build shine. So by level 20 you should definitely have it all going but even before that you can still make it work really well since not all of these abilities right here are needed. So let's begin with the quick hacking because this is gonna be the one that is the most important. So as I've said we will focus on well a couple of things. One of them is spreading as many quick hacks to as many enemies as possible. For that we need only two perks right here. One of them is diffusion which increases the spread distance of your quick hacks by two times. I will explain that in just a little bit. The other one is going to be called Plague and this is going to make your quick hacks to spread and jump to three additional targets. So going over the same example that we had previously with Contagion, by default this only spreads to two targets within eight meters. But because we have Plague and Diffusion, this now spreads to five targets within 16 meters. So this essentially means you can quickly just spread this up to five targets within those 16 meters and those five targets will additionally spread it to other targets close to them to the point that everybody close to them is going to be fully uninfected with this virus and will take poison damage over time over a very long time as a matter of fact if you also go with the legendary version of that I will explain that in just a little bit now from this point on it's all about like reducing the RAM consumption and increasing the regeneration of RAM so that's why we will go with biosynergy to increase RAM regeneration optimization to reduce the cost of quick hacks there's also mnemonic to um, kind of reduce the cost of quick hacks 
buy two if you already quick hacked an enemy. This is probably one of the best right now in the game. You can just go and do a breach protocol on somebody. It costs zero most of the time. And once you do that, your next contagion is probably going to cost only one ram instead of three four, five or six, depending on how you approach this. Um, another one that is going to be really important is going to be the critical error and this is something that you get around level 20 I believe, but it is definitely worth it because it makes your quick hacks to now be able to critical hit based on your crit chance and crit damage. So you're going to be able to essentially like just destroy everybody even in one shot. Um, everything else is about being able to actually craft your quick hacks. So that is why we're gonna go with the hacker's manual for the uncommons um school of the hard hacks for the rares i believe there's also one for the epics around here and finally um the one that gives you access to legendary quick hacks and by the way you don't need any points into technical ability to craft even the legendary versions of these you only need the legendary ones now why would you need the legendary crafting of quick hacks well that's because it gives you access to some of the most powerful quick hacks right now in the game like detonate grenade, um, the level up version of the ping, the contagion level legendary, the weapon glitch, the system reset and if you just unlock these as you can see it gives you access to a ton of really cool ones that you can immediately go ahead and craft and evolve from um, green quality all the way up to the legendary quality. Now this isn't where it all stops by the way there's a few more that we will make use of. Another one is the mass vulnerability, so it starts with the mass vulnerability that um, kind of makes all enemies within the network to reduce their resistance by 30%, but eventually, but eventually you will make your way towards mass vulnerability to increase all of their vulnerabilities, and finally with the quick hacks one too, so that now all of your uh, daemons will increase in damage by 30%, so that's gonna be a really amazing one, that's why we're gonna use this one in breach protocol, and by the way, when you do a breach protocol we're gonna be able to automatically apply this by just using the breach protocol because you can upload two demons or two demons at the very same time and everything from here on is just a matter of preference like you can definitely go with everything that gives you more ram regeneration or um, kind of increases the duration of your demons and so on and so forth the other skill tree that might have an importance and the one that works the best for this is gonna be the cool in this case I went with 20 skill points but but it's not super needed. The only one right here that you need, which unfortunately requires about 18 points into stealth, is going to be the Neurotoxin, because we use Contagion, that applies a poison over time, and Neurotoxin increases the poison damage by one time. So basically it's gonna deal double damage with the Neurotoxin right here. But with that being said and done, probably the only other thing that is left for me to show you is my inventory. And disregard your entire inventory. You don't even need that much of an investment right here, the only one that's going to be important is going to be the cyber deck. Probably the best one for this is going to be the Raven Micro Cyber MK4. I'm pretty sure you can get this from um, Western Haywood. You can go ahead and buy it over there, but if not, I'm going to showcase another location on the map because right now I don't really remember where I got this one right here. But the ones that I'm using are going to be, again, Pink and Contagion. These are the most important. And from here on, it's a matter of preference. I'm using the Weapon Glitch because of the passive, so it unlocks the we Weapon Jammer Demon for use in Breach protocol system reset because it gives me another passive defeating an enemy reduces the ram cost of the next quick hack by one so it's a really good one um, again pay attention to the passives listed at the bottom because these are going to make it really important short circuit is kind of like a finisher move even though it says combat it essentially one shots enemies if the build is finalized and it gives you really nice critical hits over there too and detonate grenade because yeah it's an awesome one to have you can also switch in with suicide or cyber psychosis to turn enemies against one another but again for this one right here I'm going to go with the ones that I've just listed now as far as the cyberware the only ones that are really important right here are going to be the ones at the top and to be more specific visual cortex for that critical damage 45% you can only get this with 20 points in intelligence by the way so be mindful of that and then the limbic system critical chance by 25% so again 20 intelligence points I would also say X disc is amazing because it increases your cyber dex max RAM by five so now you will have like a really huge amount of RAM to deal with this so let me let me show you an example right here so we have a bunch of enemies on this 
side of the map and normally what I would do is I would just go ahead and ping everybody within that system and once I do that it kind of reveals everybody on the map so what I will do is I'm um, just go here and stay in the stealth mode and because I can penetrate everything through walls I can just go in and hack somebody so I would normally start with the breach protocol because as I've said with the points in mass vulnerability we can now apply it to everybody in the system so there you go I believe we can apply the mass vulnerability and as you can see everybody right now has mass vulnerability because it was upgraded I mean uploaded to them and this is gonna make our for example um, contagion now only cost two of these quick hacks and as you can see it's gonna upload it to everybody who gets close and everybody's dead yeah that was it that was literally it everybody right now maybe with the exception of one yeah, no, everybody dead. That's how easy it is. You never have to touch the enemy. You never have to do anything. If there were to be a camera right here, I could just like hack into the camera and check them out and spread it like that. You never need to even get close to these enemies in order to do that. Okay, so here is actually another one. This time around, it's a big complex. So this one should have a lot more enemies. So what I will do again, I will just hide maybe around here. I know that there is cameras, so I don't even need to like get close. And I will just ping this guy with one ram. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna kind of reveal everybody. You kind of need to get close if you're too far away, it's not gonna reveal everybody, but um, it is possible to do all of that. So in this case, what I could do with this one, since he is completely alone, is short circuit him and that's a one shot kill and probably nobody even knows that I've been here. So what I will do next is I'm going to go ahead and try to find a camera. Okay, so there's a camera right here. I'm going to take control over the camera. And now I have control over all the cameras in the system. And look at that. There's a bunch of enemies right around here. So I will take my position. And this seems to be a good spot. So what I will do is I will go ahead, breach protocol. I will try to upload the mass vulnerability. And I'm pretty sure I can also upload the other one. So E9... Yeah, and now all weapons are jammed and um, yeah, everybody is mass vulnerability affected. So I will go in and look at that. Contagion only costs one and lo and behold, there's people getting affected all over the place. I think they died a little bit too fast. So these ones right here did not get a chance to also get infected. So I will try to spread the contagion and both of them got affected at the same time. So yeah, one of them even died. The other one is not too far off behind. There you go. <laughs> is that on the screen? That is wild right here. Like, this build is so amazing. It's so fun to play with. Like, if you play this, if you enjoy this kind of playstyle, this is definitely a really awesome one. Definitely changes the way you approach Cyberpunk. It's completely different than anything else. It doesn't require too much to, like, just get used to it. And I might say it's one of my favorite ways of playing the game. Like, playing with the enemy's minds. But yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it is. And I'll see you guys in the next one.